Hey, what's happening everybody? My name is Harrison and this is going to be an Unreal 4 Engine C++ tutorial on timer events. So let's go ahead and see what the final product is. Uh, again, there should be a GitLub, GitHub link in the comments below so you can always just grab the code and move along. Let's push play. We're going to wait five seconds and then we're going to see a repeating screen call every two seconds. So hello Unreal, hello Unreal. Shift F to want to get my mouse. So these are going to appear every two seconds after five seconds. So let's go ahead and recreate that in C++. First, let me delete the test one. Delete that. Uh, right click, create new C++ class. New actor. Time actor, I guess. I don't know. Time actor, let's call it. Create class. All right, awesome. We created the classes for us. Uh, let's go ahead. Um, I think we want a couple things in the header file. Let me go ahead and get those right now. Uh, we want one, the function. We want to declare the function that we're going to do. I'm just going to call it repeating function. Uh, because that's the function that's going to play every two seconds. Um, so we have that. And we want also an F time handle, an F timer handle to handle the time. Call it member timer handle. All right, that should be good. Save that, move ahead into your CPP file. In order to use the timer events, we need to include the timer. Uh, how do we do that? Yeah, so we need to include the timer manager. Include timer manager. I have my notes here on the right side of me, just so I can mitigate some mistakes. Uh, so in the begin play file, this is where the magic is going to happen. This is, you know, when we push play, let's repeat the function every two seconds. So how do we do that? One, get world timer manager, set a timer. We're going to call the F timer handler that we declared in the header file. And we call that the member timer handle. This uh, do a reference to your class. A time actor. So if you create, so if you called your class something different, I called it time actor. That's the same as this. Uh, call it that or whatever you called your actor class. And so, what are we gonna do? Is that we're gonna call the repeating function from this class. So we do repeating function. We will make that function in just a few seconds. Here we're saying how long do we want the function to repeat and we're saying that we want this repeating function to repeat every two seconds. Uh, set to true, I think it's the default param, uh, param. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, but then next we're gonna set five. Uh, we're gonna set five seconds to have it start after five seconds. So let's go down below and create the repeating function. Boy, a time actor. Repeating function. And we're just gonna call it a log. But here you could have, you know, particles change direction or something like that. Uh, but just to keep it simple, let's do a console log G engine. How do you console log? Add on debug screen. Hello Galaxy. See so that so these are gonna appear for five seconds and they're gonna be in the color red. Or maybe just to change it up, let's go ahead and make it green. So we see something different. Alright, uh time actor, and I think that's it. Let's go back into the editor, compile, and see what happens. Alright, we got an error, let's check it out. Uh, requires a value. 
All right, get rid of that. Uh, we don't need the parentheses right here. Put that, save, compile, and that should work. All right, cool. Let's drag, it, drag and drop it in and see what happens. Push play. Uh, the idea is to wait five seconds and then we'll have that text appear every two seconds. Hello galaxy, hello galaxy, and hello galaxy. All right, that should be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the